Hey there folks, I've got an OU battle for you today against the Forgotten Death, link to his channel is in the description. Um, this is a pawn to own battle of sorts in that he messaged me saying, Hey Antar, do you want uh, my shiny Aegislash? You can use it in battle. And I was like, shiny Aegislash? Sure, can you nickname it something for me? And he was like, well, I like the nickname. Um, and I was like, well, I really wanted to be nicknamed this other thing, you know. I'm being kind of a dick here because, you know, he's giving me a free Pokemon. But he said, I'll tell you what, if you beat me in a battle, I will rename it for you. So either way, win or lose, I get a Pokemon. It's just a matter of whether it's the nickname I, uh, I want. Um, and I, you know, I'm, uh, I'm giving him something awesome too. So anyway, um, I lead off with my Galvantula. He leads off with the Tyrantrum. Notice he's using an exclusively Gen 6 team. I go ahead and set up Sticky Web because I figure he doesn't have a Defogger, and especially if he's using a mono Gen 6 team, it's unlikely that he can even run the Defog. So uh, he's got the Tyrantrum. I figure he's got it. He's intimidated. I resist it. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Critical hit. Yeah, so funny story about Tyrantrum. I was in the Battle Maison and um, had my Mind Fu up against a, a Mind Shot rather, up against a Tyrantrum, and it one-shotted me uh, with a head smash. No crit, no nothing. Just th that thing's just that much of a monster. So um, Muramasa, his uh, his shiny Aegis slashes out. Man, it looks really nice. Um, and anyway, here. Uh, so the idea here is. Um, so he goes ahead and goes for the Shadow Ball, uh, gets a critical hit. Now, I have a plan here. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. And it almost takes him out. I was so freaking close, but it does not actually manage to take him out. He's got the weakness policy, which raises his attack and special attack. It makes him kind of scary, um, but he, and he's going to take me out with a Shadow Sneak. But Cosmic F, I sacked you, and maybe I should have saved you for Spinning Rocks later, but, you know, you did work, and I'm I'm pleased. So now out is going to come Motoko, my own Aegislash, and, you know, he can, even if he went for the King Shield, I'd still be able to take him out with a minus two Shadow Sneak at that range of health, and I'm guaranteed to outspeed because of the Sticky Web. Uh, so there we go, Muramasa is down, and I've taken out what could have been a really, really huge threat. So, good for me. Um... Yeah. So now out for him is going to come his Noivern. Um, I don't know why I said it that way. It just, I don't know. It seems like the appropriate way to say it. Uh, so interesting it's not running Infiltrator. I think, it, yes, I'm pretty sure Infiltrator is one of its... I think I'm thinking of Probat. I don't know. Uh, so I go for the King Shield just to scout out what he's doing. If he went for the Trick, I don't think they actually... I think they run Trick. If he was Specs and ran Trick, well, then I'd have I'd be a Specs Aegislash, and that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Anyway, goes for the Draco Meteor. I don't know if he's Scarfed or um, Specs, more likely, but if, either way, I figure, um, you know, let's just go in to my bow. Bow can take a Flamethrower, uh, no problem. It's, it's physically defensive, not specially defensive, so it doesn't take it as well as one might hope, but it still takes it decently well. Uh, not wanting to take uh, the obvious... Um, the obvious, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Dazzling Gleam, switches out into his Talon Flame, and I'm like, okay, Talon Flame, you gotta be worried, but you know what, I got off my wish, so that's good, because I can go ahead and switch out into Dragonite, who's a really, really good counter for, uh, Talon Flame, and all will be good. So yeah, gonna go ahead, switch out into, uh, Puff, my Magic Dragonite, wishes up, so he can't one-shot me with any of his moves. Um, and he goes for the Sword Dance, and I'm like, oh, that's scary. But you know what? I'll have my multi-scale after this turn ends. So I'm like, phew, okay. Should be able to take him out. Oh, I don't know if I can take him out with an extreme speed, but I'm almost positive I can take him out with two extreme speeds. Um, so he goes ahead and switches out into Tyrantrum. So I wasn't sure if I could take him out with extreme speed, so I decided, what the hell? Let's go for Outrage, because you know what? I'm willing to bet that Outrage will KO. So I go for the Outrage. It is going to do a metric ton of damage to Tyrantrum. It's easily going to one-shot because I'm banded and because, uh, you know, it's Stab and he's weak to it. Unfortunately, I'm locked in and now he goes out to, into Avalug, which is a huge physical wall, and I don't think I can one-shot it, but maybe I can two-shot it or I'll get the first turn or the, the two-turn confusion. I figure I've still got the multi-scale. I should be able to switch out. So, indeed, I'm like, yes! Only two turns of confusion. I can switch out next turn. He goes for the avalanche. I'm like, I think I can survive that, right? No. No, 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 no. Uh, Dragonite goes down. And I'm like, crap, what am I going to do about that Talon Flame? It's a Swords Dance Talon Flame, too. I don't really, I have no idea what I'm going to do. This freaking Avalug, man. This freaking Avalug. That, you notice I wasn't even a crit. Avalug is insane. So here, you know, I have the super effective, um, uh, whatchamacallit, 
uh, Sacred Sword, but actually Shadow Ball, given that I'm quiet, max special uh, attack, does more. Um, crit did not matter there, don't worry about it. Uh, Avalog, yeah, especially Avalog is has no special defense. All of its uh, all of its bulk is on the physical side. So I take it out here, and now it's going to come Talonflame, and I'm like, well, this is going to suck. Uh, he goes for the sword stance here, as I think I just go for the Shadow Ball predicting the sword stance, because I'm like, he's going to sword stance, it's obvious. So it's all a matter of playing well here. So I go for the Shadow Ball, and I get him down to pretty darn low health. And here, I'm going to go for it. Let's see if I can get inside his head. I go for the King Shield, and I'm like, come on, attack, attack, attack. I know you want to, you know you want to. And he goes for Roost. And I'm like, crap, all the mojo that I had worked up. If I had predicted that, if I'd gone for the, I, I couldn't have taken him out with a Shadow Sneak. Plus, um, he had priority with um, the Gale wings. Um, so here he goes for um, the Flare Blitz and takes out Motoko, and Motoko is down. And that's sad. <clears throat> Let us all mourn for Motoko. And I'm thinking, he's going to sweep me now. But I see he's Life Orb. And I'm like, ooh, I wonder. So I got on to Hugabug. Hugabug is going to have its Sash lost um, to the, the rocks. But he's going to go for the Brave Bird now. And I'm thinking, you know, is my health high enough that he can ta he'll take himself out to the recoil? You know, he could have gone for Roost here. And it would have been priority Roost. And my Thunder would not have... Uh, would not have... I don't think it would have KO'd, actually. Um, but he said he was worried about the Parahacks because, you know, 30% chance of paralysis. But even so, the correct move there really was to Roost. So now we're each down to two Pokemon, and I've won this. Um, because he can't... I don't think that... Go I actually have no idea what Go-Go does. Um, but I do not think that Go-Go can take out um, Sylveon. I just really, really don't. Uh, so here I go for the Wish. I'm just gonna... I'm basically stalling him out. I'm counting out a set, gonna see what he's gonna do. Uh, what he can do. And it's Horn Leech. And I'm like, okay, so this will be a really long and stally battle. Um, but I'm pretty sure, considering I have Wish Protect, I will win the Stall War. Um, so he goes ahead and switches out here because he thought he was go I was going to go into my uh, Landorus. But, you know, no point doing that so quickly, especially with Noivern in the wings. I, so I go for the Hyper Voice here. And it's going to one-shot, because, you know, Neuvern. Uh, and so that was a really bad play for him. And it, he was he over-predicted, and, and I would have just switched right back into Bow. I don't think he could have taken out Bow no matter what. So this is now good game. Um, so, you know, he can't do anything to Bow. Uh, Bo has won this battle, but I don't, you know, this is going to be an extremely long and stally battle if I just leave then Bo as we swap uh, really weak attacks. It's not so much that it's really weak attacks, it's that we're both really defensive Pokemon, and we're both regaining health rather quickly. So, at some point I'm going to switch out into Landorus, because, um, because I can. Um, and Landorus has the uh, Sludge Bomb, and Sludge Bomb will take this guy out because he's super effective, and also Landorus is amazing. Uh, so he goes for the Earthquake here. Eh, not really doing much, gotta be honest. Um, Bo is going to uh, get the... Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch out here, because it's safe. He can't really do anything to me. Billy D. Williams, uh, come on out! And so, yeah, I think I get the wish on this turn, doesn't really matter. He goes for Earthquake, so I guess it was a good prediction. But again, the worst he could have done is Horn Leached, and it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Especially with the wish. So I go for the Sludge Bomb! And go -Go is going to take a lot of damage from that, um, but with Horn Leech, I'm thinking it's not going to be a two-hit KO. Probably going to be a three-hit KO. Um, he, you know, I'm really glad that uh, you know I'm life orbed. I'm really glad that Sludge Wave uh, does not um, trigger. So it's 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 got the ability of the sheer force, which means I don't take damage from recoil or recoil damage from the life orb as long as I'm using a, a um, sheer force move. And I'm really glad about that because I don't think I could stand the residual damage. So Billy D is going to take him out with a sludge bomb, a third sludge bomb, go -Goat is going to go down, and I have handily won this match 2-0. I consider that handily compared to a lot of the other battles I've had recently. So, uh, the Forgotten Death was a really great match, and thank you so much for the Aegislash. I think I gave, did I give him Porygon in return? No, I gave him, I gave him a Cyndaquil in return. Yeah, that made me really happy because I love Cyndaquil, and I love that someone wanted the Cyndaquil. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, just a reminder, if you want to challenge me, click the link in the description to the Google form. It'll just simplify things a lot for me and make things a lot easier for me. Uh, so that's all, folks. So long.